and Patrick need to sell their house to get their kids into a new school. It is frustrating that we haven't sold the property. But buyers can't get past the eclectic decor. It's a little frightening. It's like they're watching you. It was terrifying. <laughs> I wanted everything to be a little bit scary. With a budget of $5,000 and some clever staging and design tricks, it's better to keep things simple and neutral. I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. That's so good. Home is where the heart is and a place to make your own, unless you plan on selling. And that means putting the personal away. Downtown Savannah, Georgia is a historic community teeming with stylish attractions. Historic homes here are novel, full of character and in high demand. Except for this house. This 3,200 square foot, four bedroom, two and a half bath home listed at $650,000 has been on the market for seven months. Petra and Patrick are two artists who purchased this home five years ago. Petra and I love to take old houses and uh, renovate them, make them new. We decided that we wanted to come in and, and take this house and, and make it beautiful again. However, once the family grew, with the addition of three-year-old Mia and five-year-old son Ryder, upkeep on this large home became a daunting task. It is frustrating that we haven't sold the property. It's been on the market for quite a long time, and I think that we have a beautiful property here. It's a beautiful home, but it might not be for everybody. <laughs> Could Petra's unique design choices be at fault? Petra's taste is unusual, I guess, on some points. I just like strange things. Maybe that's a little bit of me. Maybe I'm a stranger. <laughs> She might have gone a little bit overboard in some of the decorations and what she did. I guess what it is, it's almost like the artist in me, I think. You know, you want people to stop and look at stuff. It's, it's like theatrical, almost. Love that. With the couple anxious to move before the start of the new school year, they're somewhat ready for some radical changes to this unsellable home. Petra and I have made our home the way that we like it. For Sophie to come in and change the way that looks is a little bit difficult for us to swallow, I think. Since ultimately the goal is for us to sell our home, we have to change a lot of things in order for that to happen. This is an absolutely beautiful Victorian house downtown, but it's been on the market for seven months, so I'm guessing the problems are going to be on the inside. Are you quite frustrated? Yeah, it's definitely been a lot of frustration. So what would be excellent if I could take a tour and you just show me around and then we can see what the problems are? Sure, that sounds great. Great. So, obviously, Victorian. That's kind of what I was going for. The pink color. Dark. Dark. Yeah. I'm definitely the one to blame for the colors. <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy these pictures? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to keep a Victorian feel in right. the house. That's why I wanted everything to be kind of old uh -huh. and maybe a little bit scary. Old and scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that sells houses. <laughs> so what's through here? Uh, this is the parlor. Again, is this your paint choice? Yeah. <laughs> it was hard, you know, when I picked the stripes first, mm -hmm. then yeah. I was really stuck with trying to match everything else through the house to yeah. make it more like a flow. Because of that, of course, it got dark. It did. It's very Victoriana. Wow, who is he? That's Mikey. Mikey. Yeah. Tell me about Mikey. He was a birthday present uh -huh. from Patrick. She said, you know, wouldn't it be great to have, you know, <laughs> uh, animal head? And so I thought, well, I'll, I'll play the game and I'll go along. OK. Yeah. I have, a, I have a secret to tell you. I also have a boar's head that I was given as a wedding present from my brother-in-law. <laughs> His name's Tommy, and he is at the top of the stairs. Excellent. And he even has a hat. Oh, oh wow. So I, I understand, <laughs> but I think some buyers might be less thrilled by the dead animals. Mikey might scare a few people off. <laughs> Talking about scary, whoa, what is this? <laughs> oh, it's a decapitated. Yeah, she's got a limb or two missing. <laughs> she is terrifying. Oh, look, she moves. As... She does move. <laughs> I know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is she doing here? We actually got those mostly to use for painting props when okay. we make artwork. Yeah. Okay. But then I thought that she fit in pretty well. <laughs> Are you trying to purposely scare buyers? <laughs> it's like, welcome to the creepy. <laughs> so again, a little on the dark side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a plumish dark. Tell you what, I would not dark. eat a plum if it was this color. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it would have been <laughs> off many years ago. <laughs> Patrick, is that you in a bath? Uh, it is. That's uh, one of my first paintings I did for uh, grad school. It is beautiful. 
problem is, is they always say when you're selling a house, you should try and depersonalise a bit. Right. And I think that probably includes the semi-naked pictures of the homeowners. <laughs> 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 I think so. <laughs> maybe, maybe. A formal dining room, excellent. I'm guessing this is a Petra paint choice. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> it's interesting what you were saying before about the flow and the paint colour. You have achieved that, and the paint colours do actually complement each other. They're just very, very dark. Yeah. What is that? Oh, our door stopper. That is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. It, well, it does work. See, it keeps the door open. So. To be fair, it's a very effective door stop. <laughs> it's it also is. great for when we're sitting here eating dinner to scare the kids into finishing their vegetables. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is not just a property show, it's more <laughs> also a parenting <laughs> show. Oh, wow, this is a fabulous house. But we, we need to make it a bit more modern, I think, and a bit less scary. <laughs> Houses in this neighborhood are selling for between $235,000 and $600,000. Petra and Patrick's at six hundred and fifty dollars is on the high end and needs to show much better to beat out the competition. The couple's realtor, Don, knows what the couple's up against. They have not been willing to remove all the artwork or change the colors in the house, and it's extremely frustrating for me, especially because I feel like the house is outstanding and uh, it's a very saleable house. I've asked Don to hold an open house to see what potential buyers think. Oh. Oh. Dark. I can't stand the colors. For being such a big space with tall ceilings, you kind of expect to have more light. The furniture is too heavy. They make it just kind of close in on me. Kind of like a setting of a haunted house, a horror movie flick. It's a little frightening. Dolls are creeping me out. <laughs> well, it's like they're watching you. They have a lot of stuff. The art is very distinctive. <laughs> Unique. <laughs> Unique. <laughs> I could, you know, do it without the boards, too. Yeah. <laughs> With the drapes on the windows, the paint colors, and a lot of the personal stuff around the house, it's distracting to buyers. It's not moving ready. There's yeah. painting. Yeah, there's a good bit of painting that's left here, for sure. You want to just be able to walk in? Yeah, and yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. The buyer expects the house to be moving ready. It's going to take a lot of effort and time and even money to change what's in the house now. Well, we had some very useful feedback from the open house. One of the first things they commented on was the dark colours, which mm -hmm. is to be expected. Yeah. They thought it would take quite a lot of work to repaint it, and they thought that the colours made the room feel a bit smaller. Yeah. They found the babies a bit creepy. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you admitted that you used them to scare your children, so... <laughs> <laughs> you can't be surprised that other people might find them scary. Yeah. yeah. We got a lot of comments on the taxidermy. Taxidermy is very cool at the moment, but some people don't like it. So I think if it's, they're taken down, then you're not going to scare anyone away. The thing is, is if they'd said things that you can't change, you know, I would feel, like, depressed by it. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, the bones of this house are sublime. All we need to do is take away some of the more zany bits, take down some of the artwork, and put brighter colours in, and this house is going to sell itself. Whatever's going to help sell our house. Excellent. We're all for it. Yeah. I have a total budget of $5,000 and a lot of ideas on how to get this house sold. Starting in the entryway, we'll paint over the dark stripes and add a new light fixture to brighten the space. Subtle art, simple blinds and a new carpet runner will give it a tidy, streamlined appearance. The parlour will get an airier look with a subdued blue colour and contemporary chandelier. The furniture will get a facelift and be repositioned for better flow. New art and accessories will broaden the appeal of the room. The living room will have a similar colour palette of cool pastels. I'll add a sideboard and reposition the furniture to balance the room. Slip covers will add some extra colour and new lamps and accessories will add warmth. The dining room will have similar colours on the walls, also brightened with new lighting. The area rug will introduce yellow and green to separate this room from the others. Bright accessories will also enhance the space. I think they're ready to make the changes, so it should be an exciting couple of days. I think Patrick and Petra took the feedback from potential buyers quite well. They realised that we need to make these changes if we're going to get this house sold. Bye-bye, Mikey. I might even have to say that this one is borderline scary. What do you think of these dolls? Do you think they're pretty or do you think they're scary? No. No? <laughs> See, you do a little bit. <laughs> 
in the box. Let's put them in the box. In the box. Excellent. With the scary dolls and taxidermy out of the way, the crew can get down to work. In the meantime, I'm sending Petra and Patrick to see a house that sold quickly in their neighbourhood to help them better understand what buyers are looking for. This 2300 square foot house has three bedrooms and three and a half baths. It sold for $530,000 after five months on the market. Oh, this is different. It's bright. Our house looks quite dark compared to this. It's nice. It's just a different feel than I think what we're used to and what we appreciate. I don't know if I'm willing to give up the boar's head yet. <laughs> <laughs> this area here, segue between the living room and the dining room is nice. It's a little smaller than ours because they don't actually have a separate dining room like yeah. we do. But they still use the space really well. Can you go upstairs? Yeah. This is cute. Oh. I like it. Nice colors and uh, pretty simple. This artwork is pretty neat. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. I love our house and what we have in it, but this definitely yeah. feels more appealing to more people. If we could change the colors and do some things a little bit differently and sell it just like these people did, uh, that, I think that'd be great. The striped walls are gonna take a lot of work to paint over. The gold color was painted on top of the burgundy walls and tape was used to make sure that the lines were straight, which is great, but it left little ridges that now need to be sanded so that the walls are completely smooth before we paint over them. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hey. Good, how are you? Very good. Wow. It's really empty. A I know. A lot of space. A lot of space, but the weirdest thing is, that it looks darker, the paint, now that everything's been taken out, which I don't entirely understand. Yeah. But, um, so tell me about the comparable house. Was it amazing? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think made it sell? The colours seemed to match pretty well in the house. Was it painted dark colours or light colours? It's definitely light colours. Yeah. yeah. I think if you painted your house similar colours to the comparable house, you would be amazed at the immediate effect. Yeah, I agree. Great. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I think what we should do now is get you into some work clothes because I've got some projects for okay. you. Okay. Right. Thank you. A massive paint job is underway. Meanwhile, Patrick's building a frame for an art piece I've commissioned from the couple. Sophie had mentioned before that some of our artwork was a little too personal and intense to be able to be on display in the house. After talking to Patrick, we came up with the idea of doing something a little more contemporary and abstract as well. The work is different than what we would normally do, but I think nonetheless it's very interesting. I love this big grand hallway. Yeah, it is very nice, I must say. But I do think buyers will think it's going to take forever to paint it. Painting high walls can be intimidating for most people, but I was able to utilize an extension pole to make light work of a very high wall. I think a lot of people like the dark wainscoting. I think sometimes you can paint it, but this isn't in bad condition. I like the colour of it. Oh, for sure. By painting the upper walls light, we can maintain the historical feel of the house by keeping the wainscoting natural dark. And who better to paint it than two experienced painters? <laughs> you're doing a great job. Thank you. OK. If you're not an artist, you can find generic art at home decor stores. But Petra and Patrick love to create, so they're working on a piece to hang in the dining room. Hey, how are you? I'm very well. So what's this? It's a photograph that I took and I transformed it in a computer program. No, I think it's going to look absolutely beautiful and it's exactly what we want because it's colourful, but it's not too personal. It's going to take a little while, yeah. but um, <laughs> I, uh, I will get there. I think um, it's going to look fab. Have you ever painted a chair before? Yeah. No, you haven't. You dip the brush in like this, and then go crazy. Careful, remember, only a little bit of paint. It's dripping. Oh, no, drip. You don't actually need that much paint there. Right. Yes. This might require a sanding job. <laughs> it's kind of a distressed look. Here, let <laughs> me do this. There we go. Look at that. Well, thanks for today. I thought it was great, and I'm really excited about seeing the art projects on the wall. And thank you guys for your help painting. You were brilliant. <laughs> but uh, we've still got a bit of a way to go, haven't we, We David? have a lot of walls to paint yet. OK. So if you wouldn't mind leaving and then coming back for the big reveal.
Sounds right. good. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. bye. We'll okay. see you guys bye. later. Bye. With the family gone, our crew has lots of work ahead, starting with contemporizing the Victorian furniture. Victorian furniture has a lot of carved detail that you really want to maintain when you're painting it. By using a sprayer, we can apply multiple thin, even coats of paint, but avoid having paint collect in those fine grooves of detail. Carpenter's woodwork should always be preserved. Slip covers are an absolute lifesaver. They're a cheap and easy way of updating old furniture to fit in with our new design scheme. We're painting and priming the sliding doors to match in with the new colour scheme and create a flow right through to the kitchen. We did a number of projects in this house. First we painted, after that we did some painting and followed it all up by a little more painting. I'm painted out. By lightening it up, it drew the eyes to the ceiling, made the rooms feel bigger and made some continuity throughout the entire house. The family will be back soon, so it's time to put on the finishing touches. The red and gold stripes were a very bold design choice, but when you're decorating your house for sale, it's better to keep things simple and neutral. Inexpensive accessories can have a big impact on staging. These cushions help to fuse the contemporary and antique elements of this room. Buyers thought that the red velvet on this sofa made this room feel like a funeral parlour, which is not a good look, but with a simple rear upholstery job, we brought it bang up to date. Petra and Patrick's new artwork is the perfect example of what you want to hang on your walls when you're selling. It's bright, it's beautiful, but it's not too intense and in your face. There is generic art available for all budgets. This light fixture is a masterclass in combining the contemporary with the traditional. Because buyers like period details like the ceiling rows, but they also like updated fixtures. What do you think? Very different. Before, the entryway gave an underwhelming first impression, but we've improved its appeal to buyers with light paint and streamlined neutral artwork. I'm afraid the red and gold paint I know, <laughs> it looks so good. Plants are really, really nice. I love this. What do you think of this new color? This is beautiful and it really makes the wood look even prettier. Love these lights, those are awesome. Very, very nice. Excellent. Well, come on through. Wow. It's a bit of a difference. It is. It's Watch. really pretty. The parlour looked like a spooky museum, but now it's bright and cheery with new colours and art that are more broadly appealing to buyers. This new layout maximises the space in the seating area. The furniture, this chair is really great. I mean, I love the blues. This, I think, is, looks fantastic. It's amazing that that's the same couch from that red and gold Victorian couch. Color is beautiful. It's like a lavender. Definitely has much more of an open feel for sure. It's not as closed in. Welcome to your new bright sitting room. Wow. Before, this sitting room looked gloomy and uninviting. So we updated it with neutral pastels that buyers will prefer. I added lamps to brighten the room and show how this can be a comfortable reading area when the TV's off. I would have never thought of putting lights behind a couch. It looks really, really good. We took down some of the artwork and replaced it with these pictures of crumbling plaster. Look at this. This is a project with Mia oh, and Ryder. Yeah. <laughs> and actually it looks very cool. When Mia was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, this is not never That's paint with cute. children. That's, That's great. very nice. I love it. Great space. Nice. And we still have the TV. Yes, you've, you still have the TV, so this is obviously still a family room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you all want to sit on the sofa, you might have to take some of the pillows <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of pillows. 
with the way the house looks right now, I think it's gonna appeal to so many more people walking through the door. We're definitely excited to see um, what comes next. We're excited for the next people to come in and see the house and hear their comments on what they think of the house. Welcome to your new dining room. Oh my gosh, wow. look! <laughs> The dining room put buyers off with overly personal art and eccentric decor, but now it's perfect for any family to enjoy because of its more everyday style. Are we having dinner? <laughs> yes, apparently so. It looks really good. Oh, there's our painting. Yeah. yeah. Look, I love this, by the way. I think this is absolutely beautiful. It works so well in here. It really does. The room does feel more like a dining room now. Mm. Oh my gosh, like way more. We want people to imagine themselves in this space. And look, yeah. come here, look back. I know. Yeah. Beautiful. Really, really, really pretty. Better mm -hmm. look. Oh, what, huh? Oh, oh yeah. Head. <laughs> <gasps> what? I am offended. <laughs> I know. That decapitated baby had to go. You try. <laughs> it's, it's an owl. It's close enough, and it doesn't still have big, scary eyes. It's the eyes. Uh, yeah. the kids. See, it has a face. Yes. Yeah. But it's just not a decapitated doll's head. I think that we're very optimistic that, that the next few showings and when the people see the house are going to be very impressed with what they see. And I think the things that could have been changed have been changed. And so we're, we're very positive with our outlook now. The whole house works, and I'm, I'm very excited. And I really think this house will just fly. I think the house is going to sell fast. I really do. I think the next person that walks through that house is going to want to buy it. Aaron and Kendall's house has been on the market for two long years. It seems like sometimes that we're just stuck in this house, we're going to die here. Buyers can't get past the obvious problems to see the potential. It's kind of dark and blue. You can't really visualize the room the way you want it. You're kind of bursting at the seams a bit? Yes. With a budget of $5,000 and some clever staging and design tricks, it's all about maximizing the space. I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. Wow! When your home is ready for sale, the first thing you do, identify your target market. People want a space that fits their needs. If your home is smaller, you must make the most of all the available space. Here in historic Charleston, South Carolina, small starter homes are in high demand. With a large number of young professionals and new families settling in the area, the population's rapidly growing. This starter home, however, hasn't had a single offer. This 1,300 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home, listed at $146,000, has been on the market for a staggering two years. Aaron and Kendall have been living in this house longer than they ever expected. We always had in mind it was going to be a starter home. Yeah. We've lived here over six years now, and it, it's definitely time to move on. Our family has grown. It's a great house. It's just we've outgrown it. I think it's time to move on. With two growing children, eight-year-old Keegan and two-year-old Madison, they have run out of space and are in need of a bigger house. There's four of us now. There's just too much stuff we have in the house, clutter. Adding extra pressure, Aaron's in the army and will soon be deployed for 12 months, leaving Nurse Kendall on her own. My biggest fear is that he leaves and the house sells like two weeks later as soon as he's gone and I'm stuck dealing with everything. They're out of space, out of time and out of options. It seems like sometimes that we're just stuck in this house, <laughs> we're gonna die, you know, throw the headstone right out front, you know, this is just where we're gonna be. This street is great. And look at this palm tree, it's absolutely beautiful. The house is well maintained on the outside, and I love that little seating area there with the tomato plants. So it looks like the problems are going to be on the inside. So your house has been on the market for two years. Two long years. Which is a long time. Yeah. Yep. What would be really great if you guys just show me around so I can get a feel of the place? Okay. The first room you come into is the dining room. Mm -hmm. It's, um, Dark red, <laughs> so I can have just that. It has a lot of stuff in it. Quite big furniture. It's big, and there's a lot of it. It's easy to keep on top of everything, then. No. <laughs> <laughs> Any house after six years is going to look a little on the scruffy side, just yeah. because you've been living in it. Right. Yeah. You know, it's impossible to keep it immaculate. Yeah. So this is your main living room. It is. We spend most of our time in here. So it always just seems like a disaster no matter what we do. There's stuff everywhere <laughs> I all see the time. That. There's toys everywhere. There are. There are toys everywhere. You quite like the big furniture. Yes. Yeah. 
I thought it was good. I'm a kind of brown guy. Sometimes if you've got big pieces in a room when they're quite dark, it makes the room look a bit smaller. Right. Doesn't look like there's a lot of storage space. No, and anything that we have, everything is full. Yeah. yeah. We have absolutely outgrown this house. It's uh-huh. Time to find something bigger. Yeah. Can you show me upstairs? Yes, sure. sure. Down now we have both of the kids' rooms. The first one is Keegan's room. Wowzers. It's the pirate's life for me, <laughs> yar. <laughs> this is an amazing room, but it's slightly on the overpowering side. <laughs> He's in here working away and playing all the time. Yeah. It's fantastic that you have such a creative child, <laughs> but it doesn't make the setting your house any easier. No, it does not. The problem with these beds is because they're at eye level, mm -hmm. they really make the room feel much smaller. When you walk in, it's like, yar, <laughs> in the yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's behind the pirate flag? It was a cute painting of a tree and a little airplane, and he thinks it's hideous now, and it's for babies, and so he's covered it up with pirate flags. You've even got a suit of armor in here. I mean, these are usually in, like, such huge, <laughs> stately homes. <laughs> Never let children have any say in interior design, because you end up with suits of armor. Suits of armor and pirate flags. <laughs> yes. Excellent. So, Madison's room is next door? Yes. Yep. Madison's room. Oh, <laughs> wow. I've seen hundreds and hundreds of houses. I have never seen a room this pink in all my life. Yeah, how about it, huh? Sometimes it's difficult for buyers to picture themselves <laughs> in a space. How do you think she'll feel if we get rid of the pink? We've been telling her, you know, maybe you're going to do something a little different with your room um, just while we're selling the house. And then uh -huh. when we move, if you want a little pink back in your room, then maybe we could do that. Right, but, that's, that's been the compromise um, so far is, <laughs> hey, when we get our new place, <laughs> yeah. we'll do this. Right. So you said there's at. a really nasty English lady coming <laughs> and she's going to steal your pink room. <laughs> <laughs> Madison's going to hate me. Should we head on out? All right. Yeah. Wow, before I get a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Houses in this neighborhood are selling for between $72,000 and $165,000. At $146,000, Kendall and Aaron's house is right on target, but it's not showing well enough to beat out the competition. The couple's realtor, Kimberly, knows what they're up against. When a home's been on the market as long as it has, it's easy to get back to a state that maybe isn't um, ideal for showing buyers. I've asked Kimberly to hold an open house to see what potential buyers think. The walls are dark. It's kind of dark and gloomy. I'm not a big fan of the carpet. No, I'd rather have hardwood. It just seems so crowded. I want to feel like comfort. I don't want to feel like I'm in prison. <laughs> For us, we would need more of a study or an office. Right. But it is kind of hard with all the toys everywhere. You can't really visualize the room the way you want it. This room needs a lot of help. I want a place that we can just walk into and it's ours. Yes. I don't want to have to come in here and, and paint or redo anything. I want it to be moving ready. I've talked to Aaron and Kendall about decluttering and depersonalizing, and they haven't really listened fully. It really uh, needs to be done to a different level. I think the three main things we're fighting with is dark, there's big furniture, and it looks cluttered. But you're not surprised by that, are you? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not very surprised at all. Someone said they were looking for a home office. The most likely person to be buying this house will probably be the same year, a young couple who don't necessarily have children. This house is too overcrowded, and I think that makes it difficult for them to see their own possessions. We also got a comment that people were looking for a turnkey property. It's important to get it up to that standard so it can be described as a turnkey property. And the thing is, is it's very easy to solve. Paint it a nice bright colour, you know, we'll look at what to do with the furniture. It's just maybe about working the space a, a bit better. Okay. People generally don't want small, cluttered houses with no storage. They want light, bright rooms. My plan begins in the dining room, the first room off the front entry of the house. We'll paint over the dark red walls with a lighter, brighter, fresher colour and reduce the furniture to show more livable space. Next, the living room will get an overhaul with a new floor. Lighter furniture in a new configuration will complete this fresh, sophisticated look. Madison's room will be changed dramatically as we paint over the pink. 
A reading chair and daybed will add maturity and elegance to the space. And in Keegan's room, we'll build a bed that can be tucked away into the wall. Adding a desk will show the room's potential as a home office. Potential buyers thought this house was dark, cluttered, the paint was overpowering, and it wasn't a turnkey property. It's all about maximising the space you have. But before I can get a move on, a mass declutter is in order. The night's gone. Yeah. Pick it up there. Use your muscles. There you go. They're doing a really good job. Can I try your hat on? I think it might be a bit small for me. Do you want to give it a go? There we go. What else do you think we should put in? With the clutter gone, the real work can begin. And while our crew gets to it, I'm arranging a little Real Estate 101 for our couple. I'm sending Kendall and Aaron to get a taste of the competition. They'll be viewing a nearby house similar to their own. With only slightly more space and an extra half bar, this house sold for $16,000 over Kendall and Aaron's asking price and in only two months. Ooh, wow. Oh, blue. Yeah, the color definitely brightens up the house. It's pretty good. I think we need to make a better first impression when people come in. The living room's cute, I like the layout. It's kind of a confined space compared to ours. No, I love uh, the layout of ours you know, much I've, better. Yeah, the living space where we actually spend our time and play with our kids is much bigger than what we're looking at here. If they can't see past everything else, they're not going to see what the layout we have is, and it's definitely beating this one for sure. Can I go look upstairs? A little office area? Yeah. It's small. I mean, I don't think it's any bigger than the size of our bedrooms, the kids' bedrooms. Right. They just have a lot less stuff. This bedroom seems nice. Yeah. I really don't think these two bedrooms are any different than ours. Neutral color probably yeah, color's helps good. compared to pink the colors and like our uh, downstairs. If this house is selling, I cannot understand why we've been unable to sell ours. I guess, so uh, I guess people really cannot look past colors and junk. Our house we gotta doesn't show out. near as well. I think ours could look ten times better. I think we'll be better. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, good. good. How was the house? It was good. It looked it looked really nice. Uh huh. It was uh, very bright and well decorated and okay. organized. It felt fresh. Can you see this house looking like that? Uh, I hope so. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we're looking for. I, I definitely love our layout more. Yeah. So I yeah. think if we can um, freshen it up, yeah, then I really think ours is going to look great. Yeah. Once we get it looking, you know, sparkly and new, I don't think we'll have any problems. Yeah. So if you guys could get into your work clothes, I've got a few projects for you. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds Excellent. good. All right. Meanwhile, my handyman Dave is already hard at work building Keegan an addition for his room that will create space and show buyers potential for a home office. Hey, David, how's it going? Hey, good, how are you? He's going to be working with you on this amazing space-saving solution. OK. And I need you downstairs. All right, let's go. Cool. Let's get some tools. OK. So, do you know what this is? No. No? It may look like a box, but uh, it's going to serve a really important function in a bedroom like this. OK. Can you grab the handle right here? Mm -hmm. Pull out and forward. OK. And you have a bed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is called a Murphy bed. Very cool. As you can see, I built most of it, but you're going to help me apply the trim detail, OK? OK. I think having the Murphy bed in there is great, because he can fold it up, and people can look at it and see they could have a great office space. Have you ever pulled up carpet before, Aaron? That'll be my first time. My only one tip mm -hmm. is that when you're cutting up the strips, you then have to roll them. Right. So don't cut them too big, because otherwise you've got this huge, great, like, roll of carpet. And carpet is amazingly heavy. All right. Well, this carpet's been bothering me for quite some time, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to some new floors in here for sure. Looking yep. forward to rip this up. Buyers prefer laminate or hardwood flooring in rooms where you have food, because I think it's a bit more hygienic. Also, so many kids have allergies these days, and, you know, all the little mites that live in the carpets? Yeah. If you've got asthma, they're a complete nightmare. So I think the best thing to do is to rip it up. This is a cordless nail gun, dangerous tool. Okay. As you'll be using this, you need glasses. <laughs> and right. since you are using this, I need glasses. OK. OK? <laughs> so I'm going to nail the first one and show you how to use the gun. 
Push in, press the trigger. I'm gonna hold the trim. Okay. You hold the gun. Press it in. Right there. Down a little bit, yep. And pop the trigger. <laughs> okay. Put the edge of the gun there. Add some force to it when you push. Pop. There you go. We'll go a little bit farther right there. Good job. <laughs> you can do this. You got this. See how much nicer this looks? Mm -hmm. and then we're gonna yeah. add some baseboard and we're done. Okay. Now, one thing that's very important about Murphy beds, and I can't stress this enough, never close the bed with the child <laughs> in the bed. Okay? okay. If you can remember that, this is great. <laughs> All right. All right. This must have been really difficult to clean. It was. Myself or Kindle vacuumed it at least once a day. Being the common area where we spend all our time, it just stayed really dirty. There we go. Okay. New floor, new beginnings. For the upcoming deployment, the pressure to get this whole process going and, and finished, finished before I leave is the key. That'll just make my job that much easier over there. What we're gonna do is, this wall is a bit dark, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's dark, so we're gonna paint it this nice color here. So if you guys could paint down here, and I'm gonna do some rollering up there. Could you, could you do that? Yeah. And careful for your dress, Marison, because it's really pretty. It is fun. Yeah, it actually is. Brush it off, brush it off. Okay. Onto the wall. <laughs> You're a human paintbrush. <laughs> there you go. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Thanks, guys. And thank you for your painting. But now, if you wouldn't mind leaving so we can finish the job. Good All right, enough. let's go, guys. Thank you. Say thanks. Bye. We're getting ready for the final push. First up, our master plan for the floors. The carpet in this room was really tight, so we're replacing it with this quality laminate flooring that has a 30-year warranty. And that's gonna give this room the turnkey look that buyers demand. Next, we focus on giving the living room more space. Buyers hate clutter. It makes rooms look smaller and it's also more difficult for them to imagine their own possessions in a space. So we built this storage unit to help tidy up the sitting room. We're almost there. The family will be back in just a few short hours, so we've got to put on the final touches. Buyers love wood floor, but because this is a dark grain wood, we've added this area rug just to soften the look a bit. Even neutral spaces need a pop of color to anchor the room and capture the interest of the buyers. Accent pillows, flowers and rugs can work wonders on any budget. The unit I asked Dave to make is impressive. To minimize the clutter and maximize the space in this room, we had to be very creative. We took three separate pieces of furniture, cut and joined them together, and by painting them all the one color, we've created a custom entertainment unit. It is amazing how changing the paint from dark to light totally transforms the room. When you're selling your house, you don't have to spend a fortune on art. This is wrapping paper that we found and we framed it and it looks beautiful. Keeping a couple of key personal items adds the warm, inviting touch that makes buyers comfortable in a space. And best of all, it won't cost you a thing. We've still got a little bit of pink. said it was dark and small, but it is now perfect. That's amazing. I love it. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yes. it's so nice. So pretty. Yeah. I love the curtains and the rug, everything. All we did in this room, took away those two bits of furniture there, mm -hmm. repolstered yes, the chairs, right. and we put those lovely accent pillows in and painted it a pale colour. It's 
nice. I like yeah. it a lot. And it's all your stuff. This is your furniture. That's your china cabinet. Right. right. But just by taking away that very dark burgundy, you really see it now. Yeah. The most important thing about this room is it's the first thing that buyers see. Right. So you really want it to be an impact on them. And I don't know anyone walking into this room who wouldn't want this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's really, <laughs> really nice. <laughs> right. For the big surprises. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. I love it. Unbelievable. <laughs> love it's beautiful in here. Unbelievable. The floors are amazing. You know, I've got to try the couch out. <laughs> I'm afraid it's not as comfy as your last one. Oh, it's good, beautiful, it? though. It is. It's I really nice. It. Just by changing the positioning of the television, right, yeah. moving the furniture, it just feels much more open. It, it, it's, it's like 10 times bigger, it feels right. like. Yeah. I know, I yeah, love that the thing's, entertainment center. That thing's amazing, too, yeah. <laughs> We've built this storage unit to help tidy up. There's lots of space in there for the toys and DVDs nice and stuff story. like that. Nice. Very nice. I'm really happy. I think yeah. it looks amazing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> man, that's very cool. Yeah. Very cool in here. That looks really, really good. I it's love amazing. Yeah, too. he's going to love yes. this. This is a great workspace. Oh, my gosh. This what? is really, really cool. I've been wanting a desk in here for forever how long. With the changes that have been made, buyers are going to see their things much better in this space now than they could before. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, super yeah. cool. Now, the princess room. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man, I this is it. nice. Yeah. So you don't think she'll be too sad that the pink's gone? She'll be fine. This is great. I love this little princess bed. She's going to sit in here and be reading all night with her little yeah. lamp. I remember the first time I had a grown-up bed. I was like, I am so grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> the house was unsellable up until now. No way I could ever imagine. It'd be decorated like this, and the walls looking as good as they do, and everything else. Do you like it? Yes. Do you think princesses have beds yes. like this? Beautiful. I'm really excited to see what buyers are going to have to say now. Once people start coming through the door, I don't know why anybody wouldn't fall in love with the house immediately after touring it. It's clean, it's bright, it's open, and I think it's going to definitely help us sell this place. I think the important thing is, is you are trying to sell your house. Right. So the most important thing is not necessarily that they like them, but that the buyers like them. Yeah. Right. But also, you know, you want them to be happy. Right. And so I think we've just struck really the right balance between oh, yeah. buyers liking it and the kids liking it. Yeah, I, I would agree. Yes. No matter how hard they've tried, Josh and Jordan can't sell their house. We're just stumped. The couple's efforts inside haven't impressed potential buyers. That would never work for me. If the buyers make it inside at all. Oh my goodness, look at that door. But I'm here to help. The more people you get through the door, the more likely you're going to get a sale. With a budget of $5,000 and some smart design and staging tips, I think buyers are going to notice the difference. I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. Listed as one of the top 10 US cities to visit, Savannah, Georgia is known as the hostess of the South. Not only rich in natural beauty, culture, and history, the city's welcoming vibe can be felt in its many restaurants, cafes, and attractions. It's no wonder houses here are snapped up quickly, except this one. This 1,600-square-foot, three-bedroom, two-bath house, listed at $185,000, has been on the market for almost four months. Curb appeal is vital if you want to entice a buyer. Your house might be perfect on the inside, but if it looks poorly maintained or run down on the outside, you're not going to get people through the door. Josh and Jordan and their daughter Madden need to sell their house. We're actually talking about expanding our family, and we're a little short on space here. We're also on a fairly busy highway, and going outside with Madden, we have to be really careful. She's too, she's small, but she's quick, very quick. But despite their desire for a new house, they've only had three showings and no second viewings. We have tried everything. We've tried staging our house. We went to my mother's house to borrow everything. 
the chairs and the couch and her kitchen table, everything. No matter what we do paint-wise, swapping furniture around, that kind of thing, it doesn't it seem doesn't to be... It doesn't look right, it doesn't feel right, it doesn't It's not bringing play, people back. It doesn't, right. Nothing on the outside is saying, come in and buy me. I wonder what the inside is going to say. So your house has been for sale for four months. That's right. got to be tough. Getting yeah. the point where I want things to happen. Well, what would be great is if you could show me around and then I can see where the problem areas are and then we can go from there. Sounds good. This is our living room, which we love. Lots of patterns. Yes. Pink and stripes and flowers and paisleys. And polka dots. And polka dots. Sweet. Yes. It's Trying to appeal to, you know, everyone. everyone. And so this is the home office. Again, we've got quite a lot of stuff going on. You need a place for your computer, but the problem is that's probably not the best place for it. And here's the dining room. Wow, nothing said by me like a pug with wings. Oh, it's our princess. That's our family pet. And then we have our laundry area. Right. In the dining room. And we don't have a door on one side. I can see why this is going to put buyers off. Right. Because people like a dedicated laundry room and then a formal dining room. And the combination of food and clothes is right. like... Right. Ah. It's just... And then this... Hmm. Doesn't look like you're doing a lot of entertaining out here. Yeah. Well, we bought this nice patio furniture. Yeah, it's great. Buy it and, and then pile it up. And not kind of storing it out here. Storing yeah. it, yeah. Right. You've got to think of outside space, not just as the yard, but as an extension of the house. It's all about creating an ambiance, creating atmosphere. You don't feel like this would be a cocktail party area right now? <laughs> no. This isn't wasted no. space. I hate seeing wasted space. This is our guest room. What is going on here? You want a door, <sighs> a ironing board? Yes. Were you trying to entice people into the room with this lovely uh, yes, shade of mud? We were trying to decide about a paint color and we decided against that. So is it fair to say this is just a dumping ground for your junk? It is. I'm afraid so. We definitely got something to do in here. Would you like to see our bedroom? I can't wait. <laughs> now this is our master bedroom. These are the lovely closets that don't really work. You've got a lot of closet space. Of closet. It could be a selling feature, but at the moment, it's just not doing it. No. I like your color choices. You just need to finish the job. And then you've got this big bed, and this room just feels small. Now, to address what I think is this home's biggest issue. I think the main problem is the curb appeal. I mean, look, you've got peeling, pillars, mm -hmm. this door. But what I think would be really, really good as to have an open house. I'm scared. You might not like what they say, but it's going to help us make those changes that we need to make to get this house sold. Whatever it takes. Houses in this neighborhood sell between $179,000 and $250,000. At $185,000, Jordan and Josh's house is priced to sell. But according to Realtor Lori, they're hardly getting any showings. In this market, in Savannah, Things have got to show perfectly or else they're not going to sell. You've got to get it perfect to get the buyers in. I've asked Lori to organize an open house so we can get some buyers through the door. Then I'll report back exactly what they're saying. These definitely have to be done. Oh, definitely. At least paint them. There is a lot going on in here with the red and the chairs and then the well, stripes and the sofa. Matches. Jordan and Josh's house could be so cute, and unfortunately, the uses of space are a little confusing. With your washer and dryer in there? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I didn't see that I think now. this is an afterthought as a dining area. Well, that would never work for me. It looks like a great size yard, but the yeah. patio needs some cleaning or whatever. Well, I am shocked that they would put this house on the market with the doors leaning against, against the, the wall. Exactly. All right, this must be the master bedroom. Oh, my goodness. Closet. You have got to be wow, kidding me. Wow, wow, wow. I'm not sure I could imagine myself mm -hmm. here. There's too much work to be done. Either we'd make improvements to the home, take it off the market, or drop the price considerably. Now it's time to sit Jordan and Josh down and give them the news. Can you guess what most people said first off the bat? Something to do with the door. The curb appeal. Some buyers didn't want to come in the house. Some people said that they were shocked that anyone would put their house on the market in that state. Oh, ouch. 
the way you sell your house is you get the most people through the door. If you're cutting down that amount of people by half because they're not even walking in the front door, that's not good. So that's really something that we've got to address. Now, when they came into the dining room, what do you think they said? Is this a dining room? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Now, the bedrooms. They thought that the room was small, but in actual fact, it's not small. People said this was a great starter home, but it needed too much work. Are you prepared to get your hands dirty? Yes. Excellent. Absolutely. This house has been on the market for four months, and I tell you what, I am not surprised. With my $5,000 budget, I'm going to change that. Inside, the living room feels cramped because of its long shape and mismatched furniture. We'll remove the desk and replace the existing furnishings with smaller pieces more to scale. We'll complete the look with a beautiful area rug, matching throw pillows and accessories. The dining room is not ideal because the laundry room's there and they're not really making the most of it. First, I'll conceal the laundry and reconfigure the furniture for better flow. We'll brighten the window with new curtains and add a new dining room table and chairs. And the guest bedroom, I'm going to turn it into a home office because I think they really could do with that. I'll repaint the walls, replace the bed with a new desk and chairs, and add colourful accents. The master bedroom's not looking great. You've got missing doors, odd paint swatches, a ginormous bed. In the master, we will replace the giant bed with a smaller one from the guest room, which I will give a fresh decorative touch to. New window treatments and linens will complete the look. We're going to make the entertaining space outside really, really fantastic. So I've immediately put Josh and Jordan to work cleaning the back patio. All right, so let's start putting it away. Where do you begin? Buyers love this fireplace, but at the moment, you can't even see it because it's full of clutter. So we're going to get rid of that and open it up. Fireplaces are on many buyers' must-have list, so it's vital it shows as an attractive focal point rather than a spot for leftover stuff. I'm not sure what that is. Some curtains. If you've got a feature like a fireplace, there's no point hiding it. It's a feature, you've got to show it off. Look, guys, you've done an amazing job. Why didn't you do this four months ago? Just needed the proper motivation. You needed the bossy British girl, didn't you, to tell you what to do? Keeping your home looking fantastic on the outside can be a big job but I can't stress the importance of curb appeal enough. That's why I'm sending the couple to view a similar home in their neighborhood. This 1,800 square foot, three bedroom, two bath house, listed at $250,000, sold in just under a year, and its well-kept exterior may be part of the reason. This is very nice. Yeah, they have an actual flower bed up front. Their walkway looks nice. Here, I feel like I want to go inside and actually see what's in it. This is nice. I love the open. But that's kind of like what we have. Yeah, we do have the open, but ours just feels choppy. It's staged well. No wonder why it's sold. I love the dining area. There's a laundry area. Nice door blocking it. And you just nice close it off and you're done. You don't have to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, this is nice. Yeah, they got a nice big bed like we have, yet there yeah. seems to be... Not so cramped. But... I don't think our room is that much smaller, though. It just feels like it. Yeah. Well, we need to figure out real quick uh, what they did that we're not doing. Well, I mean, I, mean, I think, think it's pretty obvious what yeah. they did. They actually staged their home. It just makes such a big difference. It makes them welcoming get some more people coming and taking a look. Right, we need the traffic. Back at the house, we're clearing out the living room and sending all the mismatched furniture back to Jordan's mum's house. Everybody Where did everything what go? What happened in here? You leave us in your house for a little bit and we take away all your furniture. How was the comparable house? It was, I mean, definitely. Uh -huh. You should see the front of their house versus ours. And then, what was it like inside? The yeah. colors were great. They were soothing. They were neutral. And the bedrooms? They probably had the same size of bed we do, but it seemed much more spacious. So you've learned a lot. Yes. Excellent. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to finish up here, and if you get your work clothes on, I have some projects for you. Perfect. Started. Let's Excellent. go. Excellent. With this space cleared out, the team immediately get to work putting up a nice pale gray in the bedroom. Keeping the contrast low between the wall color and the furniture will make the room feel bigger. Now, Josh, you knew we'd end up here eventually, right? Yeah. 
afraid I did. Yeah, you know, dead trees and brown leaves work for some people, but uh, first time home buyers, not so much. So I'm finding out. Yeah, we're gonna clear it all out, dig up these trees, let people see your house. Okay. All right, sounds okay. good. Let's do that. All right, let's get to work. Yep. That's just bouncing off of it. <laughs> Those bushes were hard. Now you see why these are still here. Yeah, they had some fight to them. Yeah, that's not are moving you a lot. Trying? Josh was a little timid at first, but uh, once he took that machete, he was like a man possessed. Die. Die now. <laughs> Go away. Good man. Good man. That put a hurting on it. You're doing a good job. But I'm not done yet. Good man. There's more to come. You're feeling it now, see? It took a lot of effort, but I think we've done a lot of good. Now that it's done, it looks fantastic. I'm exhausted, but I feel great. We did a lot. In this heat, we got down and dirty, dug out those trees, and kept the energy high, and we got a lot done. The inside of the house is taking shape, but the biggest transformation has definitely been on the outside. It's beginning to look really, really great. It's really important that the outside of the house looks fabulous, so buyers want to come inside. Pressure washing is a really cheap and easy way to get the front of the house clean. OK, you're going to help me, so we just need to pick a big well in the middle like that. There you go. Potted plants like this are a great way of adding a bit of colour to the front of the house. They're going to look really, really pretty. And as long as you remember to water them a lot, they should last for a good long time. Now that the outside's really shaping up, inside I've got a great staging trick to show Jordan. When you're selling your house, you want it to be neutral, but no one wants to live in a white box. We've got these really great photographs that we're going to put up in what was the guest bedroom. I like them. Great colours. It's just so easy. You just take photographs and then you blow them up and you buy these illustration boards and mats. These sort of picture frames. You get them from any shop and they're really not expensive at all. Just put it in and it will look really, really professional and colourful. That is perfect. So put it on like that. If you just centre them like that mm -hmm. and just tape it in the corners like that, then we'll just put it in. And the best thing is they're going to tie in with the furniture, they're going to add a bit of colour and then just clip it in. That is really easy. So, what do you think? It looks great. The colors really just pop. The frame is awesome. So easy to do. That's no. amazing. Perfect. Thank you so much. Love it. We're nearly complete, but before the finishing touches, we say goodbye to Josh and Jordan. We showed those trees it was boss, right? Yes, we did. But now it's time for you guys to leave, so the reveal's a bit of a surprise. We have a lot of work to do. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait. Do. Thank you. See you later. Thanks a lot. Let's go before they make us work. <laughs> <laughs> The dining room had a number of problems. I mean, who wants to eat dinner while looking at their washer and dryer? So we added trim around the frame, added some nice shuttered doors. It's hidden, but it looks great. These white marble chips are fab. They add to the curb appeal because they're nice and bright, but they're also low maintenance. They keep the weeds down, and they also keep the moisture in the soil so you don't have to water the plants as much. Before, the living room wasn't really working, and it was not easy on the eye. But now we've moved the furniture around, taken away those crazy patterns, taken out the home office, repositioned the television, and painted the room this really lovely blue colour. And I think buyers are going to notice the difference. Having the laundry room in the dining room was really putting buyers off because who wants to see that when they're eating? But moving them was not an option, so these brand new doors hide the evidence. This guest bedroom was definitely not a selling feature. It was more a dumping ground for unwanted household items. But that's now all changed. We've turned it into a fantastic, flexible office space that I can really imagine buyers using. So come on up, guys, to your new house. Looks like a different house. I it's know. It's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I'm just in shock. I remember buyers were just not even coming through the door. And now they're going to drive past and it looks well maintained, it looks presentable. Oh my god, I cannot believe just how everything's changed. 
So look, we've got oh. brand new shrubs, brand new flowers. Oh, look, we have a bench. I'm so excited. And you've got your new white outside lights matching the door. I love it. If someone had said we were going to paint the trim and the pillars black, what would you have thought? Oh, I, I couldn't I wouldn't have thought that. No. no. <laughs> no. But this looks so good. So what do you think of all your hard work pulling the trees out? It's paid off. It sure looks like it. It, it looks fantastic. It looks amazing. You really did do a great job. It's like a fresh start, so hopefully it's going to get it sold. It has to. Well, if you're excited about the outside, I'm really looking forward to you seeing the inside. So should we get on in there? Yes, please. Let's go. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look how pretty. Wow. The room is completely turned around. Oh, my god. Yes. It doesn't look like the same room, does it? Before, it just felt a bit darker, but now it's really bright. The sitting room felt quite narrow. Mm -hmm. So we just flipped, we moved the sofa to there, gave you a few little blue armchairs, add some nice. colour. I think it's fun and oh, young. Yes. It all kind of works together, though. It does all work oh, together. No perfect. clashing patterns. It looks bigger. It does look bigger. The space looks bigger. It really is. Perfect. And do you recognize this piece of furniture? Yes, it's from when I was a child. I love it. <laughs> I love everything. Wait till you see the dining room. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, this is oh. so nice. It actually feels like a dining room. It oh. is a dining room, but also you've almost got two rooms for the price of one because you've got this little seating area here. Yeah. These chairs are great. And then you've got your dining area. And we took away all the stuff that was in the fireplace. Yeah. Rather than hiding the fireplace, it's where we can see it. Yeah, and we put the fern there because, you know, add a bit of colour. But you can see it's a fireplace and it's not covered. It doesn't have all this stuff in it. Oh, this room. Remember what, what were the exact words they used? They said that this room felt like an afterthought. Mm-hmm. But it certainly doesn't feel like an afterthought now, does not it? At it does all. not. And look, we have hidden the laundry room. What a difference that makes. Just doors. Who need doors can make that much of a difference? I love the green table. That's amazing. And the best thing about this green here is that it leads the eye out to your new patio. This space has been completely transformed. This is amazing. One of the negatives before was that the backyard was just not very nice. And now look at it. It's oh, nice. It's lovely. It's the really yard looks amazing. It is beautiful. I can't believe the change. It's remarkable. What do you think about your retro cooler? Awesome. We've got some solar-powered lanterns which light up at night. Very cool. Now we got rid of the palm tree, we mowed the lawn, we put flowers in. It's a different yard. It really is. It's a usable space now. Would well, you want to come and see the rest of the house? Yes, please. Oh hey. my. This looks like an office. Oh my goodness. This office is killer. This is no longer a dumping ground for ironing boards and old cupboard doors. No. This is a cool, funky office. Definitely can see myself working in here. I'm going to have to find Working. an office type job <laughs> so I can do this a little more. If you're excited about this room, you are going to be bowled over when you see your bedroom. Yes. Oh, wow. my. It's a new room. Oh, my goodness. I don't know okay. where to begin. <laughs> There's so much space now. Some of the comments we had from the open house were they said that the master bedroom was too small. Well, no one can say that now because there's acres of space. Look, I, there's the mirror. I can get up in the morning, yes. get dressed, look in the mirror. You've got all this space. You can open the cupboard doors. It's a different room. It is. <laughs> Madden's going to love all this extra space. Yeah. Most important thing is that buyers love it. That's true. Someone's going to buy this house now. Oh, yeah, they definitely will. After looking at the house and all of the work that y'all put into it, we are definitely going to get some offers now. I know it's going to sell. I feel great about all the changes they made. I feel like this is the kind of thing that's going to get this house sold. And that's what this is all about. <laughs>